I'm Congressman Randy Nagerbauer, and you know we've had a lot of discussion about uh, the budget and all of these big numbers, and I wanted to kind of take this opportunity to kind of walk you through a scenario that I think it's a little bit un easier to understand. Now the numbers we're dealing with are, are not small numbers. Uh, the total debt as of October 2010 was $13 trillion. Our total income was $2.3 trillion and our total spending was $3.6 trillion and so we had basically a $1.29 or $1.3 trillion deficit. Uh, at the end of that period, as you can see, then we had a $14,790,000,000 deficit. Now, I don't know about you, but it's hard to get your arms around such large numbers. In fact, I think somebody said if you were going to count to a trillion dollars, it would take you 15,000 years. So what I thought we might do is let's just pretend like the, the U.S. is a family. And so we're going to take the eight zeros off of the front of these big numbers and actually make this a family budget. And so what happened in, in 2010 is this family uh, in, started off the year with $136,100 that they owed on their credit card. Uh, so during the year, they made $23,000, uh, but the bad news is, is this little family that's making $23,000 a year spent $36,000 a year, and, and so they borrowed another $13,000. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't work in the Niagara Bowers budget. Don't think it works in budgets all across uh, our country. It's not work, wouldn't work in a business for sure, and it's really not working for our government. And so what does that mean? Well, it, they borrowed 13000 more uh, dollars that year, and so at the end of the year they ended up owing $147,900 uh, on, on their credit card. One of the things that they did is they went to freecreditscore.com uh, and they looked up their s credit score, and obviously with those kinds of numbers, their credit score had gone down. And, and basically that's what happened to our country. As you know, our credit rating was lowered because we keep spending a lot more money than we're making. Now, as you know, we have this super committee, this group of 12 people, and they're trying to come up with cuts. And so it'd be just like this family trying to come up with cuts. And so they're charged with coming up with $1.3 trillion worth of cuts over the next 10 years. So how would we relate that to our budget here? Well, basically, we'll be talking about uh, coming up with $1,300 worth of cuts. Now, as you can see, that doesn't, that doesn't fix this budget. Uh, and so one of the things we're going to have to do is, while it's good that we are having this, this super committee work on these cuts, um, much uh, greater reforms and cuts are going to have to happen if we're going to have a family here that's spending uh, within their income limits. Now, how are we going to do that? Republicans have been working on the income side and we're working on the, the, the spending side as well. On the, on the spending side, we've been working to reduce uh, the deficit, reduce spending. Uh, we have uh, lots of uh, more areas that we're going to have to look into. But the other thing is, is we, we've been working on creating jobs uh, in this country. Uh, because if you want to get the economy going again, if you want to you know, begin to reduce uh, the deficits, you've got to get the incomes up. And more importantly, we've got to get incomes up for American families. And so uh, we have a, a plan. And this is our plan. It's called America's Job Creators. And what is that plan? Well, basically, it's, it's about getting the government off the back of small businesses, uh, cutting out the red tape. And getting America's energy production back on. Instead of shipping our, our jobs uh, to other countries that are producing our oil, we want to produce uh, energy in our own country. Uh, having a tax code that encourages people uh, to invest and save and not encourages them to, to borrow. Uh, a, and, and more importantly, just encouraging entrepreneurialism. Now, on the back of this plan is all of these are bills that the, the House of representatives and Republicans have passed in the House of Representatives that would help go a long way to create jobs uh, in this country. Unfortunately, over in the Senate, uh, Mr. Reid and, and the Senate Democrats have chosen not to take up any of these bills that would actually create jobs for the American people. 
Um, so obviously, we're working on this family's budget. It's our family. It's the United States of America's budget. It's important that we're going to have a future for our children and our grandchildren uh, that we get in control of our spending. Otherwise, we continue to leave a legacy of debt um, and, and a not very bright future for our children and grandchildren. So thanks for uh, letting me visit with you for a few minutes and I look forward to our next visit. Thank you.